Good morning, Audacious Church. It's so good to be with you today. My name is uh, Sheila Mutamba. I'm part of Audacious South Location. I have the honor today of sharing from Proverbs chapter 28. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for another opportunity for us to gather around your word. I thank you because your word will not return to you empty. It will accomplish everything that you desire today. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, let's look at Proverbs chapter 28. The verse that I would like us to focus on today is the very first verse, verse 1. And it reads, the wicked flee when no one pursues, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. From this verse, we can see that there is a striking difference between the wicked and the righteous. Now, let's start off by looking at who are the wicked. In the context of this verse, the wicked are the ungodly. They are those who have chosen to live in disobedience. And verse Proverbs 20 verse 1 tells us that the wicked flee. They are so fearful that they flee even when nobody is chasing them. They live in worry. They live in panic. They are timid. They are frightened by the sound of their leaf. They are always looking over their shoulder and they always expect things to go wrong. On the other hand, the righteous, according to Proverbs 28 verse 1, the righteous are as bold as a lion. So who are the righteous? If we look at Romans chapter 10 verse 10, we get an understanding of who the righteous are. The righteous are those who have been made right with God through faith in Jesus Christ. They are those on whom Christ's righteousness has been imputed through faith in Jesus Christ. Church, this is who we are. We are the righteous, made righteous through our faith in Jesus Christ through confessing him as our Lord and Savior. And Proverbs 28 verse 1 says, The righteous are as bold as a lion. In other words, the behavior of the righteous resembles that of the lion of the tribe of Judah, Jesus Christ, who lives inside of them. The righteous are bold, they are confident, they are courageous, they are fearless, they are audacious. The righteous are bold and confident, not in their own confidence, but in the God who lives inside of them. So does this mean then that the righteous never experience frightening circumstances or situations? Absolutely not. During the past year, we have all been bombarded by with alarming news concerning COVID-19 pandemic, among other things. I have had to catch myself a few times. And I am discovering more and more that boldness is a mindset. It's not a feeling. Boldness is a mindset of faith, faith in God, faith in his love, faith in his goodness, faith in his loving kindness, faith in his promises. And that mindset of faith then shapes our behavior and shapes our responses. And this manifests as boldness, as courage, as confidence, and as peace. So how can we walk in godly boldness and godly confidence 
when fear shows up. Number one, we need to remember that the lion of the tribe of Judah, Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace, lives right inside of us. Therefore, we can walk in perfect peace, even when the whole world is in turmoil, when everything around us is in chaos. We can come to that place of peace, the peace of God that passes all understanding. The peace of God is only a prayer away. Number two, the word of God says, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Number three, we need to remind ourselves that all things work together for good, for those who love the Lord, to those who are the, the called according to his purposes. Church, this is our inheritance. This is our portion. We are the called according to his purpose. Therefore, everything absolutely everything will work together for our good. Number four, let us remind ourselves of the word of God in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, where it says, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans to bring you a hope and a future, plans to bring you to the expected end. God's thoughts towards us are thoughts of good and not of evil. Therefore, we can rest in that knowledge. We can relax in that knowledge, knowing that his plans for our lives will be fulfilled despite what it looks like. There is absolutely nothing, absolutely no one who can stand in the way of God's plans for our lives. We can rest and find confidence in that knowledge. Finally, number five, let us choose to feed our faith and to starve our fear. We can feed our faith through worship, through spending time in his presence, through reading and meditating on his word, and through staying connected to those people who feed our faith, those people who stir up our faith, those people who lift up our faith. I have a question for you today. What are you feeding? Are you feeding your faith? Or are you feeding your fear? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for every person who has tuned in to this recording. And I pray, God, that for any, any among them, Lord, who are living in fear right now, any whose confidence has been knocked by circumstances and situations, any among them who are feeling timid or anxious about the future or worried, I lift them up to you this morning. And God, I ask that your peace, that perfect peace that you promise us in your word, may it rule and reign in their hearts today. And God, I pray, may that peace of God flow like a, like a river. Let it flood their hearts. Let your perfect peace rule in their minds, in their hearts, in their emotions, in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, my King, for stirring up fresh faith and hope and courage in the mighty name of Jesus. I bless you, God. Thank you for a fresh baptism of your love today, that love of God that casts out all fear. I thank you, my King. I bless you. Thank you, Father. 
Thank you for your presence. Thank you for lifting your people today. Thank you for lifting hearts and minds. And I thank you, God. Thank you, Father, for bringing encouragement and courage in Jesus' name. Fresh injection, God, of your confidence and of your boldness and of hope and of peace. Even right now, God, in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. I pray you have the most amazing day and a really peaceful day. We see you soon. God bless you. Stay connected. Bye for now.